Welcome to Spider Technologies. My name is Jason, and today I'd like to give you a quick rundown on busy light talking indicators. Specifically, what they do, how they work, all of the different types of connections available, and where you would use each type of busy light. Quite simply, a busy light talking indicator lets those near you know that you're on a phone call. Depending on your particular busy light, it may, as an example, light up green when you're not on the phone and then light up red when you are on the phone. This can be very useful in a variety of applications, such as with a manager that simply can't be disturbed, with call center agents to enable a supervisor to monitor activity while walking around, or even with a meeting room to show a conference is currently in progress. Now, it is true that we can program telephones with BLF keys to monitor extensions, and I would also invite you to watch our video on the operator panel for viewing real-time call activity from a web browser. We can certainly put up wallboards as a central point of information for everyone. Using busy light talking indicators is just one more way to walk into a room and see at a glance who is on the phone and who is not. They can be mounted on office doors, on computer monitors, or even on the top of cubicle dividers. Busy light talking indicators come in all shapes and sizes and are generally divided into two different types. Those that can be used with a physical hard phone, such as the telephone on your desk, and those that are designed for soft phone applications, which are loaded on your computer workstation. And you can watch our previous video on Microsip for a good example. Busy light talking indicators are very simple in nature and don't really have a great deal of sophistication. For hard phones, you connect them in line with your headset and it just lights up whenever it sees voltage on the line, which is the audio of your phone call. That is to say that a busy light talking indicator lights up with sound. If there is no sound, just dead air, the light will go off after a period of time. Though I will mention that many telephones also generate comfort noise, which the busy light may detect again, depending on your telephone. Comfort noise generation, or CNG, is a barely perceptible white noise intentionally played in the background of your telephone calls. This comfort noise makes the silence in your telephone calls not be a complete vacuum, where you're asking the other party, are you still there? Depending on your particular busy light, there may also be a timer that you can set to keep the light lit for a set period of silence. For soft phones, they are again very simple in nature and rely on being told to light up by the operating system working with a small tray application that you're on a telephone call, which then lights up the busy light. So, Let's talk about the various types of connections available with busy light talking indicators. Hard phones will generally use RJ9 or mini jack connections. RJ9 is the traditional connection that most quality headsets use and supports your telephone's electronic hook switch or EHS so you don't have to use a handset lifter. If your headset supports a mini jack connection instead, then it will either be 2.5 or 3.5 millimeter, and you may also need an adapter to switch between the two sizes, again, depending on the busy light. Also know that some busy light talking indicators also require USB for power. 
and this can be supplied by a USB port on the back of the telephone itself, if it has one, a USB power adapter, which is never included, or even a USB port on a computer workstation. As for using busy lights with soft phones, they will always connect to your computer via USB. So let me bring up some of the implications and caveats when using busy light talking indicators with your typical desktop telephone. First is that your telephone's handset and its headset are usually connected into two separate jacks on the back of the telephone. This means if you put a busy light in line with your headset and you decide to use your handset instead, say if your wireless headset battery dies, then your busy light will not light up for your handset as it is only monitoring the headset. Now, if this is an issue as a workaround, many headsets will allow you to put the headset in line with the telephone handset, and then you can monitor both of them with the busy light. Second is that your wireless headset needs to have a base station of some kind. If you're connecting a wireless Bluetooth headset directly to your telephone, the busy light has no connection that it can monitor. If your wireless headset has a base station, however, then you can monitor it either through its RJ9 connection or even that mini jack connection typically found on the base itself. Wired headsets, by contrast, don't have this concern as there is always a physical connection of some kind to monitor. Third, if you have an old telephone that requires using a handset lifter and doesn't support an electronic hook switch, then just so you know, there is often a mini jack connection on that lifter that you can use for the busy light. Take a look at what you already have and you may be pleasantly surprised. This is all to say that your choice of busy light talking indicator will primarily be determined by the telephone that you're using, your headset, and the type of connection you're trying to monitor. It is not one size fits all, that's for sure, but that's why we're here to help you. We'll gladly put all of the pieces together and create the working solution that you're looking for. So please contact us today for your next project. Thank you. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and click the bell icon for notifications of new videos. Thank you from all of us at Spider Technologies.